Let's take a moment and talk about how to write a good conclusion. A conclusion ties the entire lab together and shows that you know what the purpose of the experiment was and how to answer the, answer the essential question related to that purpose. Now to write a good conclusion, typically it includes three parts, claim, evidence, and reasoning. It's a good idea to pause the video right now and read each of these parts so you know what to expect. Let's talk about each of these parts individually and how this lab specifically can cover claim, evidence, and reasoning. Let's start with the claim. Now, the claim is a one or two sentence statement. It's very short and concise, and it boldly and correctly answers the essential question. So we need to review what the essential question is, typically given at the beginning of the lab or discovered through the introduction and the process. So the essential question for this lab is, how is electrolysis an example of a balanced decomposition reaction? Now, I'm not going to give you the answer to this question. It's your claim. I can't do so. But I can help you derive an, uh, your own conclusion or your own claim statement to this essential question. One thing you should consider doing is highlighting some of the key terms in the essential question and trying to see if you understand what those terms mean. Asking yourself questions like, do I know what electrolysis is? Do I know when a reaction is balanced? And can I recognize a decomposition reaction? Will help figure out what your specific one or two sentence, sentence statement is to this essential question. Remember, or you should also be relating it to the lab. You need to be bold. This isn't about what you're learning. It's about answering the essential question of the lab. Ultimately, you're going to show your learning through the reasoning and the, and the different parts of evidence. The pre-lab research and the analysis sections are good sections to review when trying to answer the essential question because they're guiding you to understand these concepts and to make that conclusion. Now, if you need a sentence starter, by no means this is the only way to start the sentence, but one good thing to do is to reformat the essential question into a statement. Electrolysis is a type of balanced decomposition reaction because. Feel free to start your, your claim statement using this starter sentence. Let's move on to evidence. The evidence statement is specific examples or example or examples of data collected during the experiment which support your claim. So again, relating the essential question, we, we're going to look at the data table, specific evidences that we collected, and we're going to relate that to our claim. Now, this is a short section as well. You're not going to do any reasoning here. You're not going to explain why your examples relate to it. Even though you know why they are, you're just listing those specific examples. One way you could start this is in our experiment we observed, and then you would relate some of the things you observed that relate to your claim. The last statement or the reasoning statement is where you're going to scientifically explain how and why the evidence you chose provides support to the claim that you made. And so this is where you're showing your understanding, where you're relating those scientific concepts. The analysis section is a great section to review to help you with this. It helps you scientifically understand what's going on. Not only that, at the beginning, you thought about some of the things you needed to know to answer your claim. Do I know what electrolysis is? Do I know when, when a reaction is balanced? And can I recognize a decomposition reaction? This section is a good section to scientifically explain those answers and how your evidence support your claim. Show that you know scientific terms and definitions by relating how you know the claim is true and why science backs it up. All right. This is how to write a good conclusion, claim, evidence, and reasoning. Now's your time to shine. Go ahead and write your own claim, evidence, and reasoning statements for this specific lab. Good luck.